It's a very good question. Um, obviously, if I were just to tell you that it's the Word of God, so then that's a conversation stopper. Either it is or it isn't. Either you believe it or you don't. But if you're asking me for another way of explaining the importance of studying Torah, I'll explain like this. Um, one of the advantages of the Enlightenment that happened a few hundred years ago is the um, dissemination of the, the scientific method, which has helped us to learn a lot about how the universe operates. One problem is that people have become so single-minded, so focused on just the scientific method, that we've come to a point where I really believe that as a whole, society sort of matches the description um, to a man who only owns a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I, I've, I found it's very common that we believe that the only means for determining any truth about the universe around us is the scientific method. Now the scientific method is one way for learning about the world around us. That means experimentation, empirical data. It is one way to find out what's going on. But there are certain things that the scientific method cannot test. In other words, abstraction, ideas, principles. So right and wrong, beautiful and ugly, those types of concepts are not f physical and concrete. They are abstract. They are, they are ideas. And it used to be that every educated person studied philosophy. Philosophy is the way to determine truth about that which is abstract. Today, it seems, though, that we're very lacking in that area. So the only truth that we really agree on is that which can be tested in the lab and replicated and that's all well and good if you want to know about the physical world but once you want to know about anything abstract once you want to know about ideas about values you have to have philosophy now here here's the deal there are many 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 philosophies humankind has been philosophizing as long as it has existed what i would say is that you have to have some philosophy you have to have some coherent approach to understanding the universe on a deeper level, on a level that deals with, with ideas and not just with things. Judaism is a coherent philosophy. Judaism is an approach for approaching values, ideas, principles. So I would argue that at least try, at least give it an, an, an attempt to study Judaism as a way of framing reality and appreciating things deeper than, than only that which we can experience and know with our senses. The Roar Jewish Learning Institute has the largest collection of Jewish media online. Hit subscribe for more.